Hi guys, it's Esbra Nels. So I'm coming to show you today um, all uh, different polishes that work for stamping. And I think that a lot of people, especially who is getting into stamping, um, want to know, you know, is it only stamping polishes that work or what polishes do work? And to be honest, if you have a large collection or any polishes in your collection, you want to try them first before you go on and buying like either Conad polishes or Mundo de Uñas polishes or, you know, Rika polishes. Those all are stamping polishes. And you have uh, some non-name brand ones that come from like China that, that also um, are utilized for stamping. Um, you have some from Born Pretty Store. You have a lot of different places where you can get stamping polishes and affordable stamping polishes. Um, but you do want to try what is in your own collection. Um, I mean, when you go ahead and go to something like um, Mundo de Uñas, I mean, I have Mundo de Uñas polishes. I absolutely adore them. And of course, it's because of how opaque they are and also because they stamp over black. And that was the reason why I decided to get them. But one of the things that I did do is I went through my collection to see how many polishes I had that did work for stamping. And I think you would be pleasantly surprised that you will find that you have a lot of polishes that work for stamping. I think one of the key things that you must have is a stamper. A stamper that you love and will work and does not fail you <laughs> okay and what I mean by that I mean there's just so many you have the Conad one that so many people adore which is um, this one here okay this is one of the bigger ones and um, it, it just did not work for me as well I mean I do use it if I'm using like a smaller image but for um, for my full nail, it is harder because, you know, my nails are curvy that it does not curve on my full nail. So when it comes to smaller individual images, this does work amazing and it works amazing. It just, to transfer it onto my nail, it is very difficult. So I had to find stampers that would be able to stamp my whole entire nail, you know, from edge to edge here, okay? Or from sidewall to sidewall, okay? So, um, wh what made me fall in love with stamping is basically this stamper right here, which was from Estonia. And, I mean, it is amazing. I love it. It is not a, you know, marshmallow one, but it's soft enough and firm enough that it picks up the image beautifully and it worked in transferring the image onto my nail. Um, but you know, I still had issues really getting all the way um, all the time or getting the image where it set perfectly when I transferred it because it's firm, sometimes the image would get a little distorted. So, you know, um, that's when of course this is the creative shop which right now it's like the hit item to have in stamping and it's amazing and you know the one the two things about this is that of how big it is you know that is one and I love the fact that it's very big why because when my nails get really long it is difficult to try to stamp the whole image on my full nail so with this, it just it works perfectly because whether my nails are long or short, it's easy to stamp. And the other thing is, is that I can just mush my finger in there and I won't cause any harm to my nail or it bending and so forth because it just glides right in there, okay? So that those are things that once you find a stamper that works, that's when I you will... 100% just fall in love with stamping and then you can literally go crazy with all the polishes okay um, so I am going to show you on my Westonian stamper different polishes okay that pick up and I'm going to show you on this one because you definitely will see the image better on this on the um, creative shop stamp stamper 
if you have it, okay, and you haven't used it yet or you've ordered it, you're waiting for it, one of the things to know is that do not get discouraged because when you stamp on it, if you use this, like a rubber stamper or the white background, you know, don't feel that just because you really can't see it in its full opaqueness, I, I guess the image itself, do not think it's not going to transfer, okay? Because it transfers amazing. You just really can't see it as well as you would because this has a white background, okay? Or if you're using a colored uh, stamper, um, you know, this, as you see, it's not a color. So it, it, it definitely, it does not look as opaque as it when you transfer it, okay? But I'm going to show you on this one because you will see how beautiful the colors and the images pick up, okay? And I think you guys are going to be pretty surprised at the polishes that I'm going to use because that's the whole reason why I want to show you this. So you can go literally to the dollar store and get stamping polishes. That's right, the Dollar Tree. And you're not going to believe the ones that you probably have seen over and over again and you never pick them up because you're like, you never even thought that they would stamp. So, you know the Sassy and Chic? These are amazing for stamping, guys. That's right. Okay. And the great thing is, is that you see, look at this. There's even neons in here. You're probably like, neon stamp? Yes, they do. Um, if you have the right stamping polishes, they will stamp, okay? And some of them, as you see, like these here, they kind of have like a, a shimmer in it. Um, and you're like, probably those are not going to work. And sometimes do not be, don't assume that only creams work or metallic works. You really have to try your polishes. And I'm going to show you this one right here, okay? Because it probably looks like it would not stamp, okay? And I'm going to show you how beautiful this picks up. And I'm just going to open it up. I am going to use my Creative Shop uh, card. And I'm just going to put this beautiful color and scrape. Okay, take my stamper. Now look at that. I hope you guys can see this because it is gorgeous. Okay, and now I'm going to transfer it onto my roller so you can see. You see that? See how beautiful... Ah! <laughs> oh, see that? Look how beautiful that is. Okay, so let's do another color here. Okay, so I'm just gonna clean my plate. Okay. And they all work. I'm going to show you the orange, the neon orange, okay? And I love these because they're only a dollar and you can use them in so many different ways. And it's neon, my goodness, and they work for stamping. Okay, look at how pretty that is already. Look at that. It's gorgeous, and it picked up all of the detail. And again, I'm gonna transfer it and show it because it keeps sticking on everything. And there it is, look at that. Beautiful, huh? Okay, so, I can't show all of them because I'll be here forever. So, but all of these do stamp, and it's gorgeous, the stamping colors okay the other ones I want to show you again dollar store this is from the general dollar and these are the Broadway ones okay now look at this one this one has one of the things I like to look for is these polishes that almost kind of look metallic -y because metallic polishes work great for stamping so this one it has like a silver or like silver tiny flex in it 
and you're probably like that's not gonna work and it looks more like a glitter polish well just try it because you'll be pleasantly surprised so I'm gonna show you this one and this one is called um, 24k see that there okay and I'm gonna go ahead and show you how beautiful this stamps and I'm just using the same image pick it up with my stamper look at that come on focus look at that look how beautiful that is you can see everything and I'm gonna transfer it to and so you can see how pretty that is look at that it's gorgeous 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 okay dollar a dollar okay the one that I want to show you and a lot of them work a lot of, a, a lot again you are going to find that so many polishes work for stamping okay and the one that I want to show you because it is gorgeous I have found like a gem and when I show you this gem you all need to go and get it if <laughs> you just like to stamp okay because that's how excited I am about this one okay so it is from Broadway okay okay general dollar one dollar okay and this one is called space flight I think that says there okay space flight okay now when you look at this polish it looks like a jelly okay or it, it is really a jelly polish so I want to show you what this jelly polish looks like when you stamp it it is absolutely gorgeous and look as you see it even goes on like a jelly because it is a jelly okay and I don't think it's even gonna show as beautiful as it is look at this it is stunning 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 and I hope it's picking up but when I transfer it and you see how gorgeous this is look at this it reminds me of those um, plates and those vases that are like the blue and white and I love to do that I have done that on my nails and I can't wait to use this because it is just gorgeous it stamps beautifully okay so and those again a dollar okay and I'm gonna show you let's see I don't want this to be too long but I really want to show you okay another one really inexpensive and cheap spoiled from uh, wet and wild these are like a dollar and change at CVS okay and this one is called um, distant memory okay okay and I'm just gonna put that on there It picked up some of the blue but it's okay look at that beautiful and I'm sorry that you're not able to see like the detail of how gorgeous it looks I hope you do get to see um, some of it is on the stamper but when I stamp it on here you definitely could see how it picks up all of the very detailed and you probably still can't see it that great okay but it is amazing okay and you have so many other polishes that work um, this one here also from Broadway this one is called Easter Annie so pretty it is a beautiful beautiful um, soft purple it is gorgeous and um, it definitely works great for stamping another one that you probably will be surprised about is this one here I got this at Big Lots a dollar fifty it's called fall mood you guys have to see it and I have to stamp it because it is 
that pretty. Okay. So again, if you look at it, it almost has like, looks like a glitter polish or, um, but to me, it comes off with those metallic flakes in it. So that's why I like trying polishes like this because it is, look at that. Look at how gorgeous that is. And then what's so beautiful is that you get that sparkle. Okay, when you actually stamp it, look at that. Look at how beautiful that is. Okay, I mean, you just really, really, really need to try your stamping polishes. Um, you know, this one from Spoiled, it's a brown. It's called um, Pump Pumping Gas, really beautiful brown, works great. This one here is a Revlon, it is called passionate pink beautiful it's a beautiful pink I mean so so many I mean you can keep trying um, so many different ones um, and I think you would be pleasantly surprised to see how many polishes work so I hope that this really gives you a little bit of an idea on where to kind of start and you do not have to spend a lot of money in order to actually stamp what you do do what you do need is um, a, a good stamper and uh, to get some stamping plates and you could start from either Born Pretty Store because they're so inexpensive um, and work your way to more expensive plates. Um, but you definitely can do so many things with just regular stamp, uh, regular polishes for stamping. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you really, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment below, and until next one, bye guys.